Oh, welcome <laughs> to our forty first Amuna class together with Rav Shalom Arush in our beautiful studio in New Shalayim. We are here together to do a two Q and A special with our wonderful translator and more, Rav Dayan Elgrod. We do welcome him every week, especially that he's come back now the last two weeks, and we are dedicating our forty first Amuna class to the success of our guests. Rav Moshe Gersht and family with students and friends and his brother is just in the other room with so many inspired followers here. Blessings to our special guest in all. Amen. 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 To the full healing of Tova Leia, Bas Rifka and Gedalia's son Yerach Mutanil ben Tova Basha. He's already getting excited with the potential visit that we'll be having to Miami and New York. We're still working it out but to be rid of Corona so we can get there smoothly and also for everyone else and have all have a Rafur Shlema, especially after the Amen. tragedy in Moran and all 45 souls dedicated specifically, as we mentioned in the last few weeks, Arab Moshe Simcha ben Yisrael and Shoshana, Arab's longtime student, husband of Frida in Hafatza. We appreciate a dedication to our Muna classes and to the Rav teachings. We wish you a good week a healthy summer, and share Muna Global. That's what we're doing here. Amen. Now, we're going to give a lot of appreciated feedback and questions over here. We give, we give a lot of appreciation for it, and we're going to go together through these questions, hopefully as many as we can. We got a lot this week, and thank God we also, good news, we got a lot of names as well for the rub. So we're going to go into that as we go on. First with the feedback. Excellent story, Rav Ralph Cohen. I regularly watch the lessons Rabbi Yonatan gives in Spanish, and thank God I understand English as well. In fact, the story had a lot to do with the present situation in my life. But Hashem bless all of you in the Yeshiva Chut Chesed. Amen. We need to have Israel more than ever. We need to wake up and turn to a Kodesh Baruch Hu as well. Our friend Yossi said, Ab Israel will end this all. Hey Nisim, I miss you brother. That was in reference to last week's class, Nisim Black. Come to London again. <coughs> Thanks for all your classes, all of Hashem's Team members are doing and giving, and we pray for all your members. Bless of Hashem. Another feedback. May the good Lord be with you. This is from, from Africa. Rab Belayish. Hashem is bringing things to amaze the world. The deal with men be this Amunakas. Please like and share everywhere. Love from Israel. When you share a video like this, like this one now, and last week's and the weeks before, and all 40, 41 Amunakases and all our other videos like this, the go and it will help everyone 100% with what the rabbi is giving for them. A single share can earn you the same as the rabbi earns, even though he did most of the work. You hear that? Beautiful our concept, but by sharing these classes, you get the same connection as if you're teaching the classes. So I, I hope that's true, but definitely share the classes. That's 100% true. Harmony and spreading kindness throughout the world. DHC is amazing. There we go. That's the Avis Israel class that we have from Rabbi Dayan Elgrod. We appreciate it, and thanks, thank you so much for going through such important concepts. And we hope to go ahead with that as well in our daily halakha class. Our guests are such great energy, especially this week with Moshe Gersh, with all the same to me, the bestseller book and more. Their life experience and sincere souls and smiles and talents will help us. So let's go into the class. So we're going to start off with a song. I'm going to move away, and Yossi Danil is going to come. Please excuse the little uh, musical chairs, but it's worth it because we're going to get the music pumping. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> musical chairs, no pun intended, right? No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. First of all, I want to say that it's a zechut to be here. It's an honor, and it's a uh, it's an honor to be here in Yerushalayim, near Kodesh, the holy city of Yerushalayim. It's an honor to be here with the Rav. <laughs> uh, thank, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. It's, it's awesome. Every time I come, I feel more and more closer to Hashem. I really do. So, um, I wanted to share, I was thinking, and um, I wanted to share something that I believe up until this point with everything that we have experienced, um, the challenges that we've experienced starting from the corona and all this, uh, all these uh, different that we've that we've endured as a, as a nation, that the obvious is that we we need the uh, Malchut Shamayim. We need Malchut Shamayim, the the Malchut from Shamayim, the the Kingdom of Heaven, the the the, the Kingdom of uh, David Amelech, uh, which is um, which is the only politics really. 
So, Bezat Hashem, we should see it soon in our lifetime. Amen. Amen. It's in Spanish, Amen. so just uh, bear with me. <laughs> Multi-nature aspects of our music and our class. Please, Rabbi Oga, take us away with a question. Ah, well, we can. <laughs> the rabbi wants Rabbi Moshe to start. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, after hearing such a beautiful, beautiful song, yes, yes, yes. Mash, Maragesh, it's, uh, it was so beautiful. I was thinking about sure. in uh, Parshas Emor. Uh, Rav Moshe David Vali says Emor is speaking about the Kohanim, Emor the Kohanim, and we are Mamlechet Kohanim. <laughs> and he said Emor is in Spanish, in Sephardit, is Ava, Mi Emor. He says, and this is, a, a Kohen is, is the aspect of love, the aspect of Chesed. He has to be the in-between, the Shliach of a Kaddish Baruch Hu is Bechinat Chesed. We always have to have love and have to have ava. So you see that there's kedusha in in Spanish, <laughs> <laughs> and this is the this is the love. You know, I saw the Rav wrote in uh, this new new uh, chibur avat Yisrael b'mesirat nefesh. So I'm I'm curious to know what is the perush on b'mesirat nefesh avat Yisrael. I understand. And even Avat Yisrael does it. Pose ya mashu miyuchad. Here's something special. It says Avat Yisrael be mesirat nefesh. I'm curious to know what is what is the Rav's perush in the Tosefet po in the additional piece here. Shmuel, the Avat Yisrael, yes, Avat Yisrael. The Rav po, when a man makes a hatisha every day, every day hatisha is parallel to Israel. Ahavat Yisrael is an understandable concept, but with Mesirut Nefesh, with great devotion, means that a person dedicates half an hour on a daily basis, half an hour every single day to pray for Am Yisrael. He prays only for Am Yisrael for half an hour. That is with great devotion, Mesirut Nefesh. And this will mend all the sinas chinam, hating others for no reason. Because this is what's called ahavat chinam, loving others with no measures or boundaries. A person is in his home, in his room, in his balcony, in any other place. And he prays for half an hour. No one knows this. No one can see this. He won't get any honor 
from doing this. He won't get any money from doing this. This is 100% giving to Am Yisrael. And giving in such a manner, for that you need great devotion. Every single person knows what half an hour is. It's a lot. It's a long time, a long period of time every single day. The the it says that the eta hayechida the the only the only way to do it is is through tefillah, that's what the the rav says. Uh, isn't there other ways to to come to love to come to ava? Right to to get to love. Yes. So why why is the 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 main klizayin the main <laughs> weapon is through tefillah? <laughs> It's not the only advice in order to reach this level of Ahavat Yisrael. It's the only advice for being able to do something for Am Yisrael's redemption. In order to take Am Yisrael out of the exile, we want there to be no more sinas chinam. So what do we do? We go speak to people. First of all, we don't know who has sinas chinam and who doesn't have this measure of hating others for no reason. And even if we know, <laughs> speaking to someone, Rabbi Meir Balanes, he is our role model. He had neighbors that were really evil, evil people. Certainly he tried to speak to them. Maybe other people also knew that these evil people were upsetting Rabbi Meir and they tried to speak to them. There was no one to speak to. So what did Rabbi Meir do? He prayed for them. Because the heart of every single person is in the hands of Hashem. Immediately when I started this whole idea of praying for Amisrael, I tried to organize a meeting of different rabbis in order for us to speak between ourselves and see what can we do. Several of these rabbis told me, if this rabbi comes, we are not going to be here. And if this rabbi comes, then we won't be here. I also tried to make peace between families. I invited them to come to my home. What can I tell you? There was no one to speak to. But prayer, there is someone to speak to. The reason for the destruction of the second temple was because of Sinat Chinam. And the reason for the exile that it is so lengthy and it is still lasting it is because of Sinat Chinam. And the reason for all the tragedies that we have gone through is because of Sinat Chinam. That is why what happened in Miron happens. After Miron, I was awakened. I realized that we must do something for Ahavat Chinam, for loving others with no measures or boundaries. Many have spoken 
on this measure and virtue of Avat Yisrael. אז למה, לא, למה זה לא נתפס? So why isn't this concept grasping on? Why aren't people comprehending it? כי לא נתנו, לא נתנו איזה עצה מעשית שקוראים לה אהבת ישראל. Because no one gave a practical advice that is called אהבת ישראל. עמוד מתפלל חצי שעה כל יום על ישראל, זה אהבת חינם ואהבת ישראל. Standing and praying for half an hour on a daily basis for Am Yisrael, that is אהבת ישראל. That is אהבת חינם. ברוך השם, זכיתי לגייס כבר הרבה הרבה. Thank Hashem, I've already managed to recruit many people to join me on this. That every day they do half an hour for Amisrael. Everyone that started doing this, he says to me, thank you. He never had anything better on this world than this half an hour that he dedicates on a daily basis for Amisrael. גם אני, אני אספר, אני 52 יום אני עושה כבר את זה. I too count every single day that I do this. I've been doing this now for 52 days. ואני זכיתי לעשות הרבה דברים טובים בעולם הזה. And I merited doing many good things. הרבה דברים טובים וגדולים. Many good and great things. הדבר הכי גדול שיש לי והכי חשוב לי בעולם הזה זה החצי שעה הזאת. But the greatest thing, the most important thing that I have in this world, is this half an hour that I pray for Am Yisrael. ואנחנו כל הזמן מבקשים שיצטרפו אלינו עוד ועוד אנשים. And we're always asking for more and more people to join us. Come on, join. Wow, beautiful. Can we have another song from Yosef Daniel? Let's do it.
my God. Beautiful, that beautiful. was very powerful. I want to thank you to Daniel very much. We're going to have to do a thank little you, move. Thank you, And we go to another question. We're about God, please. Thank you. We're having here the shifting musical scenes. Yeah, it's worth <laughs> it. It's worth it. Mishu Kanarav, someone here asked an interesting question about Avat Israel. I'm going to read it in English and then I'll translate it to the Rav in Hebrew. Thank you, Rav, for speaking each week about Sinat Chinam and Ahavat Chinam. I encounter people who insist that loving your neighbor doesn't apply to their situation because someone greatly wronged them. Consequently, they insist not only are they permitted to hate the other person, but it is even a mitzvah. How can we get past this wrong thinking? How can we uproot it from our hearts? מישהו כאן שואל הרב, הוא כל הזמן נתקל, הרב מדבר הרבה על אהבת חינם, הוא נתקל באנשים שאומרים שזה לא נוגע למצב שלהם. ולגבי מי שהזיק להם, לא רק שמותר לשנוא אותו, אלא מצווה לשנוא אותו. איך עוקרים את זה, הרב? איך מטפלים בבעיה כזאת? שזה אני מתפלל על כל יום חצי שעה. That is the reason I pray every single day for half an hour. שעם ישראל יקבל אמונה. That I'm Israel will receive אמון of faith. איך אמר הרבי מוויז'ניץ, אדמו מוויז'ניץ. How did the Rebbe of Vizhnitz say? שאלו אותו, אתה אוהב את היהודים החילונים? They ask him, what, you love people who are not observant? בטח, אני אוהב אותם מאוד. He said, of course, I love them very much. מעוברים על התורה. So they said to the Rebbe of Vizhnitz, they said to him, but they are doing a virus. They're doing transgressions. They are not keeping the Torah. How can you love them? The Rebbe of Vizhnitz said he prefers that in heaven they'll judge him. For Avas Chinam, for loving someone, even though there was no reason to really love him, then they would judge him for Sinat Chinam, where there was a doubt whether he was allowed or not allowed to hate him. So first of all, a person who would have learned the book in the Garden of Emunah wouldn't have even asked such a question. Because the foundation of Emunah says, שאין מי שיכול להיטיב לך, that there is no one that can do you any good, או להרע לך, או any bad, אם לא בגזרת הבורא, if it is not with the decree of the creator, אז כל מי שעשה לך משהו, so anyone that did something to you, שאתה אמנם לא מרוצה ממנו, even though you were not satisfied with what happened, אבל הוא היה רק מקל שבור העולם, he was merely a cane, in the hands of the creator of the world. According to Emuna, you can only be angry at the creator of the world. Because everything that happens with you, everything is from him, blessed be his name. Therefore, there are no people at all in this world. They're not anything, they're not any reality. And a poor Jew who he was used that things, negative things had to pass through him. What a poor person. What happened to you, you had to receive it. If it wasn't through this person, it would have been through someone else. But who is Ken? But he, that poor person, that these things pass through him. He is such a poor person being in such a negative place. One has to pray for him that he'll do tshuva and repent. There are no three options. There's only two. You either believe, and then you don't hate anyone, or you hate people, and then you don't believe in Hashem. Smile. Smile. <laughs> wow, yeah. we really have to smile. It's such beautiful words and such beautiful questions. 
people are asking some live questions similar to that we just answered thank god that's a good flow that we're having here and we want to thank again Moshe Gersh for coming he has a book that's become a bestseller and he also offers amazing classes throughout Yushalayim maybe you can tell us a little bit about yourself and your book just for like a few you know a few minutes and then uh, if you have another question for the Rav we'd really appreciate it well thank you Rebelli it's uh it's really a pleasure to be here and uh, you know, I, I live here in Yerushalayim, but I'm, I'm from Los Angeles originally, and it's just the biggest zuchus, the biggest privilege, honor to be involved in the type of work that I get to be involved in, which is to share the vision of wisdom, of Torah wisdom, of depth and, and meaning and what life is about. And the, the name of the book is It's All the Same to Me. And uh, what I really mean by that is that you know, if you look beyond the surface layer of things, if you look beyond the chitzonius, uh, we're all connected. We're all one. We're all part of one movement called Hashem, called, you know, the will of God. You call it the universe. You call it the source energy. You can call it whatever you want. But we're all living together and moving in that same direction. You know, it's what the Rav calls emuna, right? When you live in that deep space of knowing. Emuna is not an idea in the head, but it's a knowing in the heart. And when you when you have that, it's a different life. The whole life is different, and the way you relate to people are different. So that's that's really what the book is about, in its depth, in its core, is is that connection. Uh, the the word that it's based on is hishtavut, hishtavut of the, of the Baal Shem Tov, which means, comes from the language of, there's a there's a pasuk, a verse that says, Shiviti Hashem Lenegdi Tamid. Shiviti means, like, I, I put God before me always. Uh, but the... Says in in the in the holy holy teachers say that shave shiviti comes from the word shave which means the same. You come to this place of sameness and recognition that beyond all form, right? In in spirit, we're all here doing one major major work. So that that's a little bit about me and about what the book is about. I was actually thinking about that as the rubble was explaining the the need to pray for thirty minutes a day. You know that that people should come to this deep feeling of love, and I wonder. I'm curious to know what the Rav's thoughts are on this. You know, the it says you should love your neighbor like yourself. kamocha, and the way I understand that is, the Baal Shem Tov says you can only love as much as you have the kamocha. We're, we're davening for Avat Yisrael, we're davening for all this love, but do we have that same love for ourselves? Doesn't, doesn't it start here? It starts within the person, and only from there can it expand outwards. So really, shouldn't we be davening for, for, to love ourselves, and then from there will come the, the love of everything else? Is that, that you need to translate <laughs> אומר, הבעל שם טוב אומר, ואהבת על אהבה כמוך, לפי הכמוך, אז האם לא קודם כל צריך להקדים את התפילה להתפלל, לאהוב את הכמוך, את האני עצמי, ורק אחרי זה לצאת לאהבת ישראל? That's a very nice question. אנחנו עכשיו עסוקים, יש לה אש, חז"ל אמרו, כל מה מתפלל לחברו נענה לתחילה. Our sages told us that anyone who prays for his friend, he himself will receive that salvation that he was seeking for his friend. I'll give an example. If I'm not praying for Israel, I'm praying for them that they'll merit to receive several things that I myself merited to get. <laughs> But a person who he himself is very far away, a person who's very far away, his prayer should be like this, creator of the world, I myself am very far, but I'm praying for Amisrael for them to do tshuva. And you, creator of the world, said that anyone who prays for his friend, he himself will receive the salvation first. I also need that salvation to come closer to you, but I'm praying for Amisrael. <laughs> Certainly that prayer 
will work and affect him much more than if he would have dedicated his prayers for himself. نعم. Why? حسنا يقولون إن كلك بلا يبأس. Our sages tell us in the Gemara that the God is so great to ignore Israel's prayers. When a person prays for Am Yisrael, that is considered to be praying for many. When a person prays only for himself, there are many negative forces that are preventing his prayer to reach Hashem, saying, Look at this person, he did this, he did that, we should not receive his prayers. But when a person prays for Am Yisrael, War one to that negative force, that angel that will try and prevent these prayers from reaching Hashem. This is now what we need to do, the decree of this time and this hour. And I'm praying that all of our soul, that everyone should pray for everyone. A new booklet was written and it was published last week. אהבת ישראל במסירות נפש. אהבת ישראל with great devotion. פה הסברתי את כל העניין הזה, איך ממש את השכל הנפלא הזה, של העצה הנפלאה הזאת. In this book that I explained the great knowledge and wisdom, this wonderful advice. גם כתבתי תפילה לדוגמה. And I also wrote a prayer as an example of how to pray for Amisrael. Because many people say to me, what am I going to say for half an hour? אבל גם עכשיו שכתבתי את התפילה לדוגמה, But even now when I wrote this prayer, this example prayer, אין הכוונה שלי שיתפללו את מה שכתוב פה. It wasn't my intention for people to pray just to read what I wrote in this booklet. למה? Why? כי זה יורד דרגה. Because when you read it out of this booklet, it goes down a level. כשאדם מתפלל מהלב שלו לפה, When you pray from your heart and you voice your words in your own words what your heart is feeling, When you pray a prayer that's not written, And his words come out from his heart to his mouth, Then the prayer is considered to be with great intention. There's a prayer from the heart. When a person prays what is written, He has to connect his heart to what is written, to the written words. And few people are able to connect their heart to the written words. So what was my intention when I wrote this exemplary prayer? Yeah, now I'll just read out a line that I wrote. That a person should pray what is written. And then after reading one line, a person needs to elaborate, to pray from his own heart, to add to his, his own words to this prayer. For example, create of the world. Please Help all of Amisrael to do tshuva, to repent without any agony and anguish. And for help them to do tshuva mostly for the sin of sinat chinam, of hating others for no reason. And for all the sins that they have sinned in their conduct between man and his fellow man. Why? Because the main aspect of our prayer in this time and day is especially for the sins between man and his fellow man 
של שנאת חינם. And for the sin of sinas chinam. ועל המצווה של אהבת ישראל. And for the mitzvah, for the commandment of אהבת ישראל, of loving עם ישראל. כי המצווה של אהבת ישראל, because the mitzvah of loving עם ישראל, היא לא מצווה פרטית. It is not a private mitzvah. זו מצווה שכוללת את כל התורה כולה. It is a general mitzvah that encompasses the whole Torah. מי שאין לו את המצווה הזאת, if you don't have this mitzvah, הוא לא יכול להגיע ממש גבוה בתורה. You can't reach a high level in Torah. Therefore, anyone that does this half an hour, I don't want people to do this out of their own personal interests. That's why I tried not to say what a person will merit if he does this half an hour. יעשו את זה באמת מסוס נפש. In order for people to really do this with great devotion, not thinking of what they're going to gain. רק כשאדם עושה את החצי שעה הזאת, when a person does this half an hour, ככה הבעל שם טוב כותב, this is what the Baal Shem Tov writes, הוא זוכה לאהבת השם, he will merit to loving השם, כי הוא מתפעל על הבורא שהילדים שלו יחזרו בתשובה. Because he is praying for the creator that his children will do tshuva and will repent. הוא אוהב את הבורא. He loves the creator. לכן הוא פועל על הבנים שלו. And that's why he's praying for his children. הוא זוכה לאהבת ישראל. He merits the virtue of אהבת ישראל of loving עם ישראל. הוא זוכה לאהבת התורה. He merits the virtue of loving the Torah, of being connected to the Torah. הוא מתפעל שעם ישראל יזכו לקיים את התורה. Because he's praying for עם ישראל to keep The Torah. Those are the three greatest loves that exist in this world. And that's why what this does is this brings this virtue of love and it makes it part of the world. I'd like to share you with something. Oh, I... מדבר עם הרבה אנשים שיש להם צרות. I speak to many people who have hardships and difficulties. יום חמישי דיברתי עם אישה. On Thursday I spoke to a woman. קראה לי את הלב. She, my heart was torn from what she told me. מספרת לי שיש לה בן אחד. She told me that she has one son. שהוא בן 35. He's 35 years old. והיא כבר... קרוב ל-28 שנים מתפללת עליו שיחזרו בתשובה. And for nearly 28 years she's praying for him to do tshuva. בוכה. She's crying. כמה בכיות. How many tears has she shed for him? כל פעם לוקחת לעצמה 40 יום כזה, ו-40 יום כזה, ו-40 יום כזה. Every time she accepts upon herself doing 40 days this and 40 days that and all these 40 days in merit for her son to do tshuva. שאלה אותי, איפה כל התפילות שלי? She asked me, where are all my prayers, where are they going to? ואז אמרתי לה, And then I said to her, עכשיו אני עוד יותר חזק להפיץ את אהבת ישראל, את החצי שעה הזאת. Now you have strengthened me in distributing this אהבת ישראל with great devotion and the praying for half an hour for עם ישראל every single day. כי זה מראה שיש דין בעולם. Because it shows that there is judgment in the world. רק זה, רק זה מה שאני מפעיל עכשיו, יכול להביא שיהיה המשך רחמים לעולם, יתקפלו כל התפילות, כי היא, לא, היא רק דוגמה, כמויות של אנשים שסובבים ומתפללים לא נשאים, לא היא רק דוגמה. And only this can bring mercy into the world and be able to annul all the judgment and the prayers will be received. Because she is just an example for many other people who are praying and their prayers are not being accepted. How many people do I know who are praying to find their soulmates? All the males, all the females. How many cases of divorce do we have? How many terrible ailments and sicknesses do we have in this world? הנפש. Mental problems. In short, I'm stopping here. I'd like to ask all of you, Abelio told me that he has a list to give me. 
שהצטרפו עוד אלפים, עוד אלפים. I'm asking you, I'm asking you for thousands more to join us. נכון, אני שמח אפילו באחד. True. I am delighted and happy even when one more person joins. אני אומר לך, בוא, אבא, יש לנו עוד חצי שעה ביום תפילות על עם ישראל. Because I say to the creator of the world, Father, we have another half an hour of prayers for Am Yisrael on a daily basis. אבל בשביל להשיג מה שאנחנו רוצים להשיג, שזה... But in order to achieve what we want to achieve, צריכים אלפים שיהיה להם אהבת חינם. We need thousands to have אהבת חינם. אני אבקש מרבי משה שגם הוא יקבל את החצי שעה. I'd like to ask רבי משה also to accept upon himself half an hour praying for Am Yisrael. זה דבר קטן, זה small thing, my whole day is praying for Christ. נכון, נכון, אני גם, כל החיים שלי סביב של עם ישראל. אני יודע, אבל... I too, my whole life. is revolving around Am Yisrael. When you concentrate half an hour, praying straight, a straight half an hour, just for Am Yisrael, you'll see the difference. That's why I say to myself, this is Am Yisrael with great devotion. Sometimes I'm tired, I walk and I speak and I don't let myself go. This is with great devotion. I write the name of every single person who accepts the point of self to do half an hour. I have here a bag of names. And this is the name that's in, this is a list that's in my pocket. And if you'll merit, I'll write your name down also. אהבת ישראל של בבא סאלי. This is a book that Baba Sali wrote called אהבת ישראל. יש לי פה בגרמנית. I have in German. בספרדית. In French. היום יביא לי בספרדית. Today I'm going to get in Spanish. Names of the Spanish community will be joining us. quantities of people from the Spanish world who are going to be doing this. And most of them are non-Jews. And they're praying for Am Yisrael for half an hour every single day. So certainly, this is something that compels the Jews. It's a disgrace. In the heavenly realm they're saying non-Jews are praying for Am Yisrael. Do you, do you accept, you accept <laughs> Yosef Dinil, do you accept upon yourself half an hour praying for Israel? This booklet is very soon going to be translated into English, it's going to be published, and in many languages. Amazing. So you can all connect to the Rav and to the booklets and everything we're doing at breastlove.co.il. I was asked by the, the uh, website team to also mention that all the classes we've had, all 41, have been translated, have been put up onto the, cl- onto the website, and you can see the videos there, including this class with Moshe Gersh and Yosef Daniel. We want to recommend you please to check out their description below. Very important to go below and see what they wrote about themselves. We put their links, thank God, to Yosef, uh, to Yosef Daniel's music and to Moshe Gersh. his uh, wonderful book and also his YouTube channel. He has a lot to teach. He was even with some very famous people, people that are connected to Oprah. What's his name? Chop- Chop- Deepak Chopra. Deep- Deepak Chopra. I forget his name, but yeah, he's a very special person. From I see him in the mic, all the big influencers and thought leaders. So we have connection with someone who's connected to them. Kabuch Hashem, who can hopefully share this message of love and the Avos Yisrael and Ishtavos to have that connection to Hashem on a, on a constant basis. Beautiful ideas of Amunah together with beautiful Amunah music. We don't take it for granted. Yes, Daniel came special. And we want to also recommend everyone to join us, AmunahLive.com. We're still trying to build the tour to, the, to Miami and to New York. It will take some time. But the main thing is everyone join us in partnership and it will grow. Please, God, in the right time, everything will be the way Hashem wants it. And Umar Rosh Hashanah is already in the air. People are talking about making, taking over hotels, friends of ours, and inviting the Rav to join us. to join there and speak in English, Baruch Hashem. We hope that we have the opportunity if Rav Algo is also able to come and translate beautifully there in Uman. It would be a big honor. And let's hope this year everything will go smooth. Okay. All the different 
hachanas, what everyone's trying to do, all the preparations for simchas, please God, and also trips, and please God, and also Avis Yisrael and Avis Hashem, with Messias Nefesh and Avis Torah, Baruch Hashem, we should be Zohar, Messias Hashem, to all the good things. I can't wait to join you again after, hopefully, it won't be a fast day, but if it is, we're out, probably going to have a week off till Liron Mazur joins us in our 47 second class. But that's enough from me. We're going to end off with another question from a Moshe goes to the Rab, maybe a, some chizuk from them, and then we'll go on, end off the class completely with a song. But I want to say goodbye personally because I'm moving to the side now. Thank you. Please go to the Rab, uh, to Rab Moshe. <laughs> so I'm thinking this whole time, you know, a half an hour, right? It's a, it's a long time for people. I'm thinking if the if you're trying to get a lot of people to to grab onto this major beautiful beautiful idea, which is to to step into prayer and to be to put from their own heart and their own words to to pray for for more love in the world, um, wouldn't it be easier for the for kind of the mission to to have less time and then you can bring in more people? Who would, who would, because when you say half an hour, I think that scares a lot of people. But if you said, would you give two minutes, three minutes, so then in, instead of a couple hundred, maybe you get a couple hundred thousand people who would want to pray for a few minutes. <laughs> שתיים, שלוש, חמש דקות, אז במקום שכמה אלפים יצטרפו, אז כמה מאות אלפים יצטרפו, זה משהו שיותר קל להם. אז ודאי שהרבה, כל אחד יש לו שכל. Certainly, everyone has the wisdom to understand. And many people say to me, Rabbi, I'm able to do only 15 minutes. And I say to him, wonderful. Even a person who says to me 10 minutes, I say to him, excellent. But when I start with half an hour, most of the people who say they can't do it will do 15 minutes, and there are few people who do 10 minutes. If I start with 3 minutes, there'll be nothing. We've got many names, 15 minutes. And it's part of the website that, that the Rav was okay yeah. with them. As Rabbi Liao says, many people have said 15 minutes. He says, Rav, many people have said 15 minutes. He says, Rav, many people have said 15 minutes. I always say to my classes, 15 minutes is not good, 15 minutes is excellent. Thank Hashem, there are many who have this great devotion family. Yeah, I'm showing you. I have this whole bag full of names and today I'm going to get many more names. And, and, and in this bag, the names of my students, they're not even written down, they're already a few hundreds. And they all do the half an hour. In all of my yeshivas, everyone does half an hour. אני כותב אותם כי אני גם מתפלל עליהם, גם אני... זה... אני כותב אותם כי אני גם מתפלל עליהם, ואני גם שואל... שבקש מהשם שלך שתהיה להם את הכוח לעשות את זה, לעשות את זה, ושיזכו. אני אומר לך השם שתהיה להם את הכוח לעשות את זה, והם יעשו את זה. את כל האמת אני אגיד לכם. אני אגיד לך את האמת. אם לא הייתי מקבל את העצה הזאת, אני כבר הייתי מתייאש לגמרי. למה? אחרי שלמדתי בגמרא, כשהגמרא אומרת, רבי יוחנן בן טורטה אומר, רבי יוחנן בן טורטה אומר, שבזמן החורבן עם ישראל He said that in the time of the destruction of the, temple, of the second temple, Am Yisrael, they learned Torah with all their powers. They exerted themselves learning Torah. And they were careful in doing all of Hashem's mitzvahs. And they were very careful in strict giving the tzedakah they needed to give. And every single good virtue existed within them. I read the Gemara. I was shocked. It's perfection. So, but it only says afterwards, the only 
thing that they did not do correctly is that they hated each other for no reason. <laughs> that means that <laughs> We need now deep and intense prayers in order to merit now that we are much less than the people that lived in the time of the destruction of the second temple. We can see what's happening. We can see what's going on. That's why I'd like to beseech all of you, please join me. Those who answer the calling of Hashem gather to me. Believe me. That the situation of Am Yisrael is very difficult. This is the only hope. Because what? Am Yisrael will learn Torah? They learned Torah in the time of the Torah the Temple. All of Am Yisrael learned Torah then. Just like we see. In the yeshivas, the greatest yeshivas, what is going on there? We hear on the news. That's why I can speak about it. I'm not speaking about the things that I know that people don't hear about. The, the rabbi says that he spoke to me, he told me about things. Scary, scary things. Please, I'm beseeching you, join us. Half an hour, half an hour. With great devotion, Avat Yisrael, with great devotion, Avat Chinam, loving each other with no measures or boundaries. Wow. Let's hear a song on that note, I think. Yes? We round off the class. Let's do the classic. Can we see on? No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, I'm just, I feel so grateful to be here, first and foremost to Rebelli for, for allowing me to sit here with, uh, the, with the Rav and with Rav Elbrad and Rav Shlomo Katz, was the, uh, Rav Shlomo the Katz a dear, dear Chavar who is an amazing Shleach, I'm so happy that, you know, really, I have to tell you this, I'll tell you a story, you like to hear a quick story, I have one minute for this, really, we're not sitting here, it had nothing to do with me, and maybe not even to do with Shlomo. My, my brother is reading a book that the Rav wrote, a book called Or Chadash, yeah, or Kisufim. Yes. So my brother, who's, who's out there, he's, he's been reading this for a long time. He, he listens to the Rav Shiurim, and, uh, and a few weeks ago, he said, um, do you ever have uh, anything to do with a Rav Arush? And I said, you know, I've read, I've read a lot of his work, but I, I didn't have any chance to, to, you know, to meet with the Rav. He said, if it ever comes up, would you be open to it? And I said, sure. 
And he said, okay, I want this. I want this. From, from like, Meir Ratzon, that he wants it. The, the next week, I was sitting with Rav Shlomo for Shabbos, and Rav Shlomo said, you know, would you ever want to connect with Rav Arush? <laughs> <laughs> and I said, look, he opened his mouth. He said he wants it. He davened for it. That was, that was <laughs> the next day, I got a, a message from Rebelli. So <laughs> this is how it works. You, you, you open your mouth to, to Hashem. You, you open your heart, and you're ready for something to come into this world. And, and Hashem opens up the doors and brings us here. So thank you. Thank you for so, coming to Class 41. Wow. <laughs> Very nice. Beautiful Thank story. Thank you. That's Love. it. That's all, folks. <laughs> Elite, we have you.